Well, you look happy. Becky just tells Susie she like likes you? Uh, more like Kelton Insurance just told Robert Zane they're scared, scared of us. You got a settlement offer. Just like he said we would. I gotta hand it to him. We played them perfectly. Did he now? What? Nothing. Look, I take it back about Becky. The only one with a crush around here is you. Sounds like someone's worried that Robert Zane might be better than him. Yeah, nice try, Tiger. But did Magic ever worry about Bird? First of all, yes, he did. Second of all, you realize you're the white guy in this scenario, right? I know I'm the bigger badass in every scenario. Okay, Mr. Badass, and which one are you, Magic or Bird? I think we both know I'm Jordan. Jordan. Hey, why don't you go meet your boyfriend, Robert Zane? I think I just left something in security. Oh. Look who like likes someone now. Ma'am, the last time I let someone up that he wasn't expecting, he tried to have me executed. I'm sure he did, but I'm telling you that... Hey, Gretchen obviously forgot to phone down, Carl, because we have a meeting scheduled for right now. That isn't what she just... Carl. A meeting with you? Really? I promise I'm much better looking than whoever you're supposed to be. You have no idea how right you are. But I could have sworn you were just on your way out. Oh, well, that's not a problem. The mayor can wait. But I'm not sure the governor can. Are you trying to out name drop me? If I were, I think I just did. But I'll let you in on a little secret. I don't really care about names that much. Well, if you don't care about names, why don't we skip the introductions and just get down to breakfast? What if I already had breakfast? Well, I'm talking about tomorrow morning in my kitchen. Or yours. I mean, you look like you have a nice place. As tempting as that is, Maybe another time. Good luck in your meeting. Okay, Esther, what are you doing here? What? A woman can't stop by to see her brother who she loves? Please, you know damn well we don't love each other. In that case, I need a lawyer. Huh, you? For what? Did you give someone salmonella with your stupid muffins? I'm getting a divorce. Well, good. I knew that guy was dead weight the second I met him. I know. I think that was your speech at our wedding. And your sympathy is touching, but I didn't come here to vindicate you. No, I know you didn't. You came to get me to slaughter Jeffrey for you. And I will. And when I'm done with him, he won't have a pot to shit in. It's pissing. And Lewis, I don't want you to slaughter Jeffrey. Why the hell not? Because I want Harvey Specter to. Come again? You said he was the best attorney in the city. No, Esther, I told you he was my best friend. Which is exactly what you said about Jeremy Henschel in 10th grade, which really meant you worshipped him from afar, you wrote your diary about him, and you never actually hung out. OK, you swore you never read my diary. And you swore you didn't spy on me and Jeremy. Oh, please, that was one time. I was on my way to get a glass of milk. And for your information, I've been lactose intolerant ever since. Louis, are you going to get me Harvey, or do I have to get him myself? Harvey? He's not taking on any new clients right now, and he's out of town for the next few years. Louis, I know what you're doing. You think I want Harvey because I don't think you're good enough. You're wrong. I know how good you are. But this is personal for me, which means it will be personal for you, and I can't have that. So please, will you get me Harvey? I'll make it happen. Thank you, Lewis. That was Esther? Yes, I know what you're going to say. We look exactly alike. That actually was I get it. It's like looking at me in a wig. I've heard it a thousand times. Yeah, the resemblance is uncanny. What? I'm just wondering why you're not getting up to go ask Harvey. Because I'm not going to ask him. I'm going to save some time and tell her he said no. Lewis. Donna, we all know that Harvey's furious at me. There's no way he's going to do it. Maybe not. But Lewis, she's family. And if there's one thing that Harvey understands, it's that. Go away, Lewis. I would, but then I couldn't tell you about the $50 million company I'm giving you. And why would you do that? Because I want to make up for our little misunderstanding. We didn't have a misunderstanding. You went after my money. So if you're giving me a client, there's some other misunderstanding that you're too chicken shit to tell me about. It's my sister's company. I'll give you 
her business. All you have to do is handle her divorce. I don't want your sister's business. Now get out. Harvey, this is my family. And my sister, she has never asked me for anything her entire life, not once. Now the one time she does, I just can't let her down. Lewis, I'm not a divorce attorney. When has a shitty detail like that ever stopped you before? All right, I'll do it. On two conditions. First, you stay completely out of this case. Done. Second? I'll let you know when I think of it. How do I know it won't be something I can't stomach? You don't, but those are my two conditions. OK, Harvey, you have a deal. One thing. Promise me you won't sleep with Esther. Believe me, Louis, the last thing I want to do is sleep with your sister. I can't believe she's really worth 50 million. I can't believe you've never heard of her company. Do I look like I buy a lot of potholders? She doesn't just sell potholders. She has a brand like Martha Stewart. Look, I get that you think she's impressive, but to me, She's just Lewis's sister, which, as far as I'm concerned, is strike number two. What's strike number one? The fact that she's Lewis's sister. Oh, come on. Harvey, listen. Are you going to take this seriously or not? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk in there. I'm going to shake this woman's meaty hand. I'm going to get this over with as quickly as possible. <sighs> you? You've got to be kidding me. You two know each other? So you weren't meeting the governor. You're telling me you were really going to blow off the mayor? The mayor. You don't know the mayor. I'm so sorry. Let me introduce my soon-to-be former associate. <laughs> Rachel Zane. Esther Edelstein. It's nice to finally meet the man I've heard such good things about. It's nice to meet the woman I've obviously heard nothing but lies about. Let's get to it. Yes. I just have to know. Or one of the two of you adopted? I've been asking that for years. Hey, get out. Shit. Come on, speak up, narcissist. It's not a freaking library. Reminder, defend the walls in the conference room. Slash, make a peephole. What do you think you're doing? What happened? Oh, I was just checking the soundproofing, making sure they thicken the walls in the conference room. So if I walk out this door and I turn to the right, I won't see Harvey in there with Esther? Esther's here? I didn't know that. Lewis, listening through the wall is not staying out of her case. And if Harvey finds out, he's going to drop her. Okay, look, it's my sister, all right? I just want to make sure he does right by her. And you never would have asked him to take this case if you didn't trust that he would do just that. So put the glass down, go back to your office, and let him do his job. You know, it'd be easier for both of us if you were wrong every once in a while. Hey, I got your message. Jeffrey signed the agreement? He did. All it needs is your John Hancock. <sighs> Wait, this doesn't say 20%, it says 50. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I forget to mention that he said you promised him 50% of your company for putting off medical school? because you sure forgot to mention that to me. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. How could you not tell me that? Because it was a throwaway conversation we had 12 years ago on the New Jersey Turnpike. Well, it wasn't throwaway to him, and he's going to use it, because he's feeling betrayed. Well, I don't really care what he's feeling, because he's the one who had the affair. You wanted to know the circumstances of our divorce? Well, that's what they are. That's why I'm leaving him. I am sure you wouldn't understand what it's like to experience infidelity. I would, and I do. But that doesn't change the fact that you made a contract. What about our other contract, 20%? The original agreement supersedes it, and an affair doesn't change that. Except he doesn't have any proof I ever made the original agreement. Esther, they're going to put you under oath and ask you point blank if this happened. And I'm going to say it didn't. That's perjury, and I'm not going to let you do that. What are you, some white knight who never crosses the line to win? No, but I'm not going to let you make a decision in the heat of the moment that you'll regret for the rest of your life. Well, then you better find some other way to void this deal. Because there's no way I'm giving my shitbag husband half of everything I own. <laughs> 